All right, let's take a look at C sharp nine record types. This is a classic class behavior. So we have a new class person with a last name and first name. We can populate it. Name is Bob. Last name is Monkhouse. What happens when we try and use this? So console.write line person prints something unintelligible. If we do a second person with the same name, write line person equals person two to somebody from outer space, um, you would have thought that this would be the same person. It's not, it's false. So the equality comparer here is not taking into account the fact that the, the names are the same, which isn't very useful. Let's have a look and see what happens when we do this with record types. So if we take our same code here and we change class to record, and run the code. The main differences are that we now have a string representation, which is very, very handy. And the equality comparer has compared all of the publicly accessible properties and has said that this person is the same as that, which is very, very useful. It's an extra feature, uh, which you can use for cloning. Person three is person two with and you can provide overrides such as this, Gary, and we can print Gary instead. Person one, person three has been printed here with Gary Monkhouse. Person is person two is true. However, if we change this to three and run it, run it again, it's false. Whilst the real purpose of record types was around immutability, I mainly see people using it for this case. Nicer string representations and cloning. Previously to clone a class, a lot of people would create bizarre reflection um, code or try and serialize it into JSON and back again. It's not required anymore if you're using records, which is pretty cool. So to recap, this is a classic class behavior. We're writing a, a simple class. The two string implementation gives you something like this, which is not very helpful. And you don't have a default equality comparer. If you convert it to a record type, you get a nice two string representation there, which you can print in log files or, or whatever. And you get a default equality comparer, which returns true here. There's also a clone method, which has a new keyword with. So here we can see we've cloned person two to get person three, changing the first name to Gary. And we've printed Gary Monkhouse out here. And we've proven that person is not equal to person three. But still we can see that person is still equal to person two.